Hey there, it's Phil from Feline Mint. Today, I recently got access back to my uh, safe that I had uh, hid the key so well, I hid it on myself. So now that I'm back in there, I have, uh, I want to start showcasing a few more things from my personal collection. So today, what I want to showcase is, uh, I should showcase my cup there first. See that fancy Feline Mint coffee cup with my morning coffee. It's a fun little thing we picked up with our logo. If anybody's uh, interested, wants any uh, want uh, wants any things for themselves with our logo on it, for sure, let us know, and we can start uh, bringing in things like that. Anyways, today we're going to see my Australian kookaburra collection. It's not completed. I've yet to do that, but I'm slowly working on it. So uh, we will get started. Well, the first one I own is this one, 1991. Uh, the series started in 1990, with the 1990 and 1991, interestingly, both having a $5 denomination. After that, they switched all to $1. So the 1990 and 91 is $5. And then both 1990 and 1991 had a mintage of 30, uh, 300,000. And then uh, they started uh, declining slightly after that. So the next one I have here is 1992. See, a nice design there. It's got the uh, frosted detail, the little dotted details there. Fortunately, mine's got a little bit of toning on it. But in 1992, there was 219,694 minted. I think it's got, oh no, that might be on the capsule. It's got a bit of toning anyways. I think that's just dirt smudge on the capsule, but it's a nice, uh, 92 and then like I said these 92 they started uh, started having a denomination of one dollar which is the denomination they continue to have now next was my 1993 these are in the kind of this uh, little little town coin company they make these kind of third-party holders I got a few a few of my coins I've picked up along the way are in in these holders. So 93, it was 190,581 of the one ounce coins were minted. It's got a nice little uh, design with a kookaburra like eating some little, eating some little grub or maybe building a nest or something like that. I don't know, it's not a grub, it's a little mouse or something. They are uh, prey animals, these little things. They eat little birdies and eat little uh, other stuff. This was when I just picked up at the Trawler Coin Expo uh, a couple weeks ago which is actually really amazing condition for uh, 1994. No toning, no nothing. One of the dealers there pulled it out of uh, an original original plastic mint mint sealed. So in 94, there was 174,456. Yeah. Well, let me try again. 174,561 minted. So and after this uh, 94, I believe 94 is actually one of the most, uh, 94 is rarer, but not uh, not one of the most sought after ones. After that, I have a little lull. I don't have anything else until we get to over here in 2000. I should really yell at those dogs. In 2000, there were uh, just over 100,000 minted, 100,000, 104,169 were minted that year. And it's got a uh, very simple design. It's got the uh, the frosting and just the uh, single kookaburra there. And once again, the one dollar face looks like somewhere between ninety four and uh, two thousand. They switched to the old queen. So then next I have here is two thousand one, and once again in one of these uh, third party holsters. Again in the uh, early two thousands, the mintage started declining, and this is when some of the uh, Premium started to go up slightly. So in 2001, 169,265. They kept some pretty good records right down to the uh, the, the one. So uh, then after that, I have a few years in a row here. So I got the 2002. It's a nice one there, just the bird flying with the Australian in the background. And in 2002, it dropped under 100,000 to 91, uh, 91,604. 
And then uh, it looks like I'm missing 2003, but I do have 2004, which is in fact, I believe the lowest mintage of all the designs. In 2004, there was only 84,444. And this is the uh, the most the most rarest and the one with the highest uh, highest value. Now it's got the uh, the one little cougar bear there, like laughing with his uh, mouth open, and then a little baby cougar bear flying around. And then next is one of my personal favorites, and I believe one of the other favorites from a lot of people is the 2008 design. That's very nice with the. Uh, Cougar bird on the barbed wire and the um, spider web there. This one's I think is also very highly sought after. It's got the frosted, frosted all the way around with the uh, you know the proof bird. It really pops in 2008. The next one I have after that is 2010. In 2010, the mintages started uh, back onto you know, an established maximum, so. 300,000, that's much easier to say. 300,000. So it's uh, it's frosted, frosted as well with a little bit different writing, but uh, the single bird with kind of the proof and uh, frosted features on the bird. And still on the old queen, I think she's still old now. I don't know if I can say that. You can say the queen's old, because she is, right? Oh my goodness, dogs. Hey, calm down. 2011. I think uh, we stayed at the 300,000. Let me just, uh, yeah. No, 2011 is when they expanded to the 500,000 mintage. So from then until currently, they have a cap of uh, 500,000 pieces on all the uh, the annual kookaburra releases. So it's the 2011, flying away. These ones you're probably more familiar with. You've probably seen or collect yourself. 2012, the one kookaburra. Probably mid-laugh there. He's a bit bigger in this design with the uh, different uh, kind of frost and proof elements. He's got some nice details in his face and, uh, you know, the nice different uh, finishes there that really stand out nicely on this one. I quite, quite like. Next, we have the 2013, which is just kind of that. Looks like it's probably you know, one's older than the other. Maybe a mama and a baby, Kugabera. A nice... 2014, we have there, that one, Cougar Bear again. 2015, which was the uh, 25 year anniversary of them, is a nice one too. And of course, these ones all have the 500,000, 500,000 vintage. 2017, 2016, sorry, again, he's just on the barbed wire fence there, mid, mid cackle probably. They're the the laughing birds. And then uh, 2017, which was last year. I believe 2018 is already released, so I'll be buying that shortly and get to the collection. So I'm slowly working on the uh, full Cougar Bear collection. I mean, I could certainly finish it at any moment, but I like, uh, you know, finding them, kind of remembering where they came from and, uh, you know, the little stories behind them. And it's funner to put them together that way, wait for the right price, you know. So uh, I guess I'm about halfway there. And uh, I love collecting these kind of kookaburras, koalas, pandas, elephants. The designs that change every year. It's a lot more fun than looking at uh, just a silver eagle or a, a maple leaf or even a libertad. It's just the same every year. So these are fun ones to collect and that's where I'm at currently. So uh, if you, you're sitting on any in between that I didn't show that you might want to uh, reach out to me and let me know, I'd be happy to... Uh, trade or uh, buy them off you or something like that because like I say that's the funnest way funnest way to do it so uh, thanks for checking out my kookaburras and uh, thanks for watching like comment subscribe and of course uh, if you like uh, you know your semi numismatic bullion make sure you check out us over at uh, felimint.com